All right, big news here on India-Maldives diplomatic face-off. We're looking at the Indian High Commissioner, Munu Mahavar, leaving the Foreign Ministry after spending 28 minutes inside the premises. The ambassador entered the building at 12.03 and left at 12.31. Earlier today, the ambassador Shaheeb in Delhi was summoned to the Indian External Affairs Ministry. Now, one should know that 28 minutes is too short of a meeting. The Maldivian uh, envoy, in fact, arrived. What we know is the Indian High Commissioner Munu Mahavar leaves the Foreign Ministry after spending about 28 minutes inside the premises. The ambassador entered the building at 12.03 and left at 12.31. Earlier today, the ambassador Shaheeb in Delhi was summoned to the Indian External Affairs Ministry. Let me cut across to Palami joining us on the phone line. Palami, go on, give us more updates on the the Maldivian envoy arriving at the Indian Ministry of External Affairs office uh, leaves just 28 minutes after he visited the ministry. Uh, has he spoken to officials? What was the conversation? Do we have any details? Well, uh, as shared by the Indian High Commission uh, in Malay, the High Commissioner, Muru Mahavar, had a pre-arranged meeting with uh, Dr. Ali Nasir Mohammed, who's the ambassador at large of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Maldives, to discuss bilateral issues, as the statement says. But this, of course, uh, comes in the wake of uh, the row which has erupted, not just on social media, but diplomatically as well, over the comments passed by certain now suspended ministers of uh, the Maldivian government against uh, Prime Minister Modi and against India. So what we do know now is that the Indian High Commissioner, Munu Mahavar, has uh, left the foreign ministry in Malay and he spent about 28 minutes inside the premises. Like I said, he met with the ambassador at large in um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And uh, earlier, as we know, here in India, in New Delhi, uh, the ambassador, the Maldivian uh, ambassador to India uh, had also been summoned by the Ministry of uh, External Affairs. So he was also seen, in fact, uh, leaving the Ministry of External Affairs uh, earlier in South Block uh, this uh, morning. That was, of course, uh, the Maldivian High Commissioner to India, Ibrahim Shaheed. So this was a prearranged meeting, is what we're being told, which lasted for about 28 minutes at the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, where, in fact, uh, the Indian High Commissioner, Munu Mahavar, had a pre-arranged meeting, we were told, with Dr. Ali Nasir Mohammed, who is the ambassador at large of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But clearly, also comes in the wake of uh, a protest which was registered yesterday itself by our High Commissioner in Malé, Munu Mahavar, against, of course, uh, the social media comments and posts of certain ministers who were then still ministers in the Maldivian government, after which it compelled and forced the Maldivian government's hand to issue a statement where they said that these are derogatory remarks and they've noted these remarks and these remarks have been made by these individuals in government in their personal capacity do not reflect the Maldivian government's view and subsequent to that within hours they suspended three ministers in the Maldivian government as well so action was taken immediately but we officially of course uh, lodged our protests as well and communicated that to the Maldivian High Commissioner in New Delhi as well because remember that this was a a targeted attack and comments, derogatory and abusive in nature, which were passed about India and about Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All right. Thanks very much, Paul May, for joining us on that diplomatic row between India and Maldives that escalates now.